خدایا خدای مهربان نوازش هستی من به دست توست دستم را بگیر I'd like to welcome you to this evening uh, this evening that is called uh, Speak Abu Dhabi We are celebrating the masters Rumi, Khayyam, and Gibran tonight. We're here tonight in support of Bahrain and Speak Abu Dhabi. Um, one of the things we're looking to do with women in film is get behind performance and writing, and we thought poetry and spoken word was a great way to get started. His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan's Center for Media and Culture had uh, gotten a hold of us, and we had asked if it would be possible to use the theater here. And when we were told that it was it was something that we could use for community events, so I got, had gotten a hold of Bahre. <laughs> the first poem that I recited, Khudaya, Khudaya Mehraban, is the first poem I have ever written. It was written in this theater, on that chair, exactly uh, two weeks short of two years ago. So I love this full circle of being back here to celebrate poetry and knowing there is a reason for poetry in my life. I would like to introduce to you our first poetess. It is definitely meant to be that our first poetess is an Emirati poet. Um, since we are all here in this land and we are so welcomed, I would like to welcome to you Hamda and also Sarah, who will be doing the translations for her. Here we are, Hamda and Sarah, take the stage, please. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Welcome in this special day. Hudud al-Sahab. على نار الطموح أشرب من دلال الأمل فنجان ومن هيل التحدي قم وعود العزم بهرها With the fire of each cup of coffee from the thermos of life, I hope that you go after all your hopes and dreams. I wish everyone to individually make a cloth out of patience and faith. Be careful that the sisters do not make your patience and faith weak, though. I don't want you to put yourself behind a wall or in a prison just because you're handicapped. And never give up. Do not abandon your dreams. Today I'm doing something that's very personal. In a lot of ways, it's a mission for me. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I happened to spend some time in a labor camp uh, called Sonapur. It's known as Sonapur. Sona for gold, Pur for city. Eating their 200 grams of rice and meat, drinking water, not fit for personal use, as the municipality agreed. And on the count of seven lining up to board their slave ships with Mercedes and Volvo on their 16-wheel slips. Returning to Sonapur, the settlement, they named the city of gold, the desert mirage which is their reality, sealed with a sarcasm they know only they can see. This is their tale. This is my hubri. I really enjoyed coming here to uh, check out the poets and uh, the music as well. Uh, favorite parts, you know, I like the whole thing. You know, uh, you know, I'm familiar with uh, some of Paul Dee's poems. It was always good. So he was uh, louder and clearer than maybe in some of the other venues where we heard him. Abu Dhabi, I want you to question everything you know and believe in. Do you believe in aliens? Have you ever seen an alien? Are you afraid of aliens? See, me, I don't believe in aliens, only in human beings that are being alienated. Thank you. I love the fact that it included um, so many different colors. Uh, the whole theme was very well thought out. Uh, the fact that you had vo literally had voices from every sector of society. I love the fact that um, people who we generally alienate, um, as one of the poets actually mentioned, um, were part of this evening. 
I've just started working with the gentlemen at the labor camps. I've been invited to recite poetry on Friday afternoons, four to six, when they have their English classes. The same kind of labor camps that Jamal was telling you about. So now I'd like to invite Jamal back onto the stage. Um, he will be uh, translating for Atul, Shahid, and also Hararam. They are brothers that are working here in the labor camps, and they have shared their poetry with us. <laughs> हंसने को नहीं कोई रोने को जमाना है छोटे से गांव में था एक बच्चा पेड़ों के झुंड में रहा वो बच्चा छोटे से स्कूल में पढ़ा वो बच्चा इस समय आप लोगों के सामने खड़ा है बच्चा ब्रावो सेस इन अ स्मॉल विलेज लिव्ड अ लिटिल बॉय बाय द शेड ऑफ द ट्रीज lived the little boy in a tiny school studied this little boy standing here in front of you right now is that little boy my name is karim hashim i'm from egypt and i'm 10 and a half years old for four and a half years. I played for people, like, I, I was invited, so I, I was really happy, right? And I trained so I could do something good, people would be happy, and like, alhamdulillah, I made them happy. poetry therapy while I go to the women's safe houses here. I've been visiting the Filipino safe house for the past two and a half years and the Indonesian safe house for the past six months. It is here that ladies come that are not so happy in the homes they're working at and they find shelter and they need to find a voice and we work together, and they help me find my voice, voices I never knew I had, and we do this together. It's truly magical. I met Bahare in the shelter. It's an Indonesian shelter. We are, uh, the, we are doing uh, voluntary activities there. Bahare uh, give uh, poetry therapy, so I help Bahare in translating. Hidupku di penampungan. Oh, Tuhan. Kepada siapa aku mengadu? Nasibku yang malang ini, oh Tuhan, kapankah engkau bukakan pintu hatimu untukku? Oh Tuhan, aku ingin terbang. Oh Almighty. I want to be free, like a bird outside my window, far away fly and fly. Wow, for me it's a magic to be here. I never thought uh, having, uh, having been here and taking a part of this kind of event because for me this is a very big event and then finding out there are a lot of uh, artists coming, gather in the one place, uh, telling the stories, telling the line and then uh, explaining about Rumi, uh, Halil Gibran and Hai Kayam, Umar Kayam. Excellent, it's very nice to be here, it's an honor for me. And now it is time for our first master of the evening to appear. Um, I would like to invite you to 
Close your eyes if you want, open your heart, and come on a trip with our dear Hamed celebrating Khayyam, and Armin is accompanying him on the guitar. Let's go on a magical journey together. Welcome. Those grown old and these that are young run for some time after something that they long. They left, and we leave, and so will the others to come. No one, no one, no one would ever last for long. No one would ever last for long. I'm going to recite one of my own poems, Monstrosity, and it's actually my friend's story about her mom who uh, died from AIDS. And I fear that this is what has happened here, as I sit next to your hospital bed, that your last days we spent in this floral wallpapered prison. I want you to get up and fight, fight with all your might. I will not rest till I found a cure, so that I can be sure that you are rid of this AIDS and I'll hold you secure, taking you away from me and your family and your kids, and the light you shed on me, quality time, shopping trips to New York City. With you gone, so are those memories. But can't you see? The beast needs your life and light because it is lonely, and misery loves company. The journey continues. We will continue now with our master, Rumi who is being celebrated by our dear sister, Ida, on the flute accompanied uh, beautifully by, with Hari. Please help me in welcoming uh, the master through the incredible voice of Ida. Thank you. Refreshed. They all walked away with smiles on their faces, and um, I think spiritually they, ga they gained something today. The reed flute, sonically, I thought that was really great, so I enjoyed that. And um, you know, I enjoyed the uh, voices that aren't always heard, like say from the uh, labor camps and from some of the shelters. We have celebrated our great master Khayyam, we have celebrated Rumi, and now it is time to celebrate Gibran. And I have the great honor of doing that, as I have truly carried his book along with me, as if, uh, I don't know, I, it was, um, it had a but all the recipes to the stuff I had to do every day uh, at birth, at marriage, at funerals, at gatherings, at not gatherings, at everything. And so um, I have also uh, written a poem on marriage. Um, so I will be reciting on marriage from uh, basically my words and Yannick will be kind enough to recite Gibran's. And so let's see how this part of the journey goes. Release each other's love so that more may be submitted to light. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts. Fly in each other's shadow and guidance and honor one another's voice and wants. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart. Cherish this love and cherish the light that surrounds you and you. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad that I came. Because events like this are very few and far between in the UAE in general. And a lot of stuff happening in Abu Dhabi culturally that other Emirates don't really find out about until it's really late in the day. So this was really something which was uh, a treat. 
the idea is to bring us all together through words, through vibes, through poetry, through music. I've never done anything like this before and I wasn't sure how everyone would come together. But it, it worked wonderfully, there were, there were no conflicts. Um, we all came together from our different backgrounds and under one platform and um, this is what universalism is. It was really exciting to see so many different backgrounds and styles and to see different arts and instruments and, and music starting to be brought together. I enjoyed being with the group, they're a really cool group and I'm glad that we have that type of atmosphere. It's great that it's happening in Abu Dhabi where people can come in and, and take a look at these genres but most importantly, hopefully, go back with something in their hearts. Beautiful. I look forward to the next one.